what gets me, Mike, I want to talk about triathletes specifically is they, and I'm going to, I'm going to go back to this and rant on it a bit is, mm -hmm. you know, they put in the miles, they'll go out and do a hundred mile ride, they do a 120 mile ride, they do a six hour ride, seven hour ride. But if you look at total door to door time, it's almost always an hour plus, mm -hmm. almost always an hour plus over their actual ride time. And I've tried to tell people this in the past and some athletes have listened, but you have to teach yourself to be efficient. You have to teach yourself when you get together. And, and I understand there's a social aspect. You want to hang out with your friends, yada, 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 all that stuff. But there's a certain point in time where you go, okay, I've got one ride every two weeks where my stops are going to be less than three minutes or whatever it ends up being. Because on race day, your body is going to go, hey, we've been riding for like two hours now. Can we just like pull over and sit in the grass for a few minutes, at least 23 minutes because it's our average stop time? You know, and athletes don't think about that when it comes to fitness. And – They'll get back on the bike and they'll ride hard for the next 20 miles and then they'll sit for 15 minutes. And then they'll ride hard. They're basically doing hour repeats. And that's not a that's not that's not a long course race. Or even it's not even a triathlon race when you're having those those repeats. I'm off my soapbox. Mike, you yeah. need to add to that before I move on? Uh, I totally agree. We we need those mosquito stops from that camp two years ago. Remember? <laughs> let's go, let's get out of here. <laughs> we like grab some food and go. We're not stopping and hanging out. I love you, but I don't love you that much. I'm out of here.